What is happening to the price of oil? Despite increasing geopolitical risk in countries like Iraq, crude has lost $13 a barrel since June. So how best to trade it? Momentum in both Brent crude and WTI crude remains negative despite all the potential supporting news continuing to come from the dear political side. If we look at the two crude oils, I pr probably prefer to, uh, to look at the WTI as the, uh, as the biggest candidate for a short position. The spread between Brent and WTI has narrowed uh, almost to $5. It's the low end of the current range. We're seeing inventory uh, it being uh, reduced in the US, but uh, the report later today could indicate that Cushing inventories might actually rise because we are getting close to a point where refinery demand starts to slow. So, so this outperforming we're seeing in WTI, I think it's, it's going to come to an end pretty soon. And it looks like we're not far off $100 a barrel. Five, six weeks ago had a record uh, speculative long position in the market. That washout is, is ongoing. We've broken below the, uh, the 103, 104 range to, uh, to prices we only saw uh, last summer. So, um, so obviously it's, it's going to be approaching interesting levels because at current levels we are not far away from $100. It's a psychological level, but it's also the level Saudi Arabia on several occasions has mentioned as being a satisfactory level for producers and consumers. So any further weakness from here, probably will trigger a response from OPEC in terms of reducing production. So why is supply outstripping demand? There's a, a glut building in the Atlantic Basin because uh, exports to the U.S. is, is slowing because U.S. Uh, domestic production is rising. At the same time, we had uh, uh, refinery demand uh, being slow as well in Europe because there was a quite a big strong build in the, in the second quarter. And as we moved into the third quarter, the demand has just simply not been there. So at the moment, the, the price in the spot market of Brent is trading quite a bit below uh, forward prices. And that's very unusual in Brent, especially for this time of year. And the story with WTI? Well, US oil production is rising uh, very strongly, uh, but so has uh, refinery demand because with the improved pipeline infrastructure in the US, the refineries both on the East Coast and, uh, and along the Gulf of Mexico has been able to, to get hold of this uh, relatively cheaper WTI crude compared to uh, global uh, crude oil prices. That has uh, triggered a very dramatic rise in refinery demand over the past uh, few months. Obviously, that needs to go somewhere, and, and as we approach the end of the driving season, we will expect the production starting to slow. So, so uh, a very strong demand for, for crude in the U.S., uh, both for domestic but also for uh, export, is going to slow, and, uh, and that obviously will start to uh, see uh, crude inventories rise as we move into the autumn.